Hey, good day, everybody. Steve Przbrowski here. Welcome to tip number 61 in the series, One Her One Tips to Ace Your Promotional Exam. As a reminder, my website, code3firetrain.com, great resource to help you or anybody else that you're assisting out there. Also, this series is based on my latest book for fire engineering books and videos, One Her One Tips to Ace Your Promotional Exam. And I say latest because I just found out today that they're going to publish another book of mine, one of my Courage Under Fire leadership books that I'm just so happy to have out there. So not sure of the timeline yet, but I was just told today that they're looking at publishing that. So that'll be the second book coming out probably in 2022 for fire engineering books and videos, but pretty excited about that and stoked and more details to follow in future uh, episodes. But let's get going here on this one. This will be a short and easy one. Tip number 61, consider joining a Toastmasters chapter. Now, if you've never heard of Toastmasters, no, it's not a drinking chapter. No, it's not a, I don't know what chapter, but Toastmasters has been around for as long as I can remember. And if you haven't looked into Toastmasters, you don't know what you don't know. I think, excuse me, a lot of people think that it's just a speaking or yeah, speaking, I guess, type of group that gets together and gives speeches. Well, that's partly true from what I understand, but But what it is, is it's not just to help you, increase, help you increase your oral communication and your speaking ability, but also your leadership ability. So there's a lot of benefits, primarily helping increase your leadership ability as well as your public speaking, because you get to the fire officer ranks, company officer, all the way up to fire chief. You need to have solid communication skills, solid communication, not just written communication, not just interpersonal communication, but also oral communication skills. Some are some people are just born talkers. Well, just because you're a born talker and you talk a lot doesn't mean you're great at communication because communication, especially oral communication, requires a lot of things to be successful. There's a lot of people that just yak, 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 and it's one-way communication that really is not successful, I guess. You know those people. But there's a lot of benefits, you know, and I say that because most firefighters, correct me if I'm wrong, most firefighters are very shy about public speaking. Now, most firefighters will be happy to sit around the kitchen table or hang out in the recliners and bitch and complain like I was guilty of, like many of us are guilty of as recliner snipers. I got my master's degree in recliner sniping, talking crap about others and then realizing, wait a second, probably not the best idea. If I've never walked in the shoes of someone above me in rank, I probably shouldn't talk crap about them because I've never done their job whereas they've done my job. But that said, public speaking is something that you hear and I hear a lot of firefighters talk about that. Oh, I don't like to speak in front of groups. I'm, I mean, I'm good with my crew, the, you know, the guys and gals I know, but I don't want to speak in front of others. That's embarrassing. That's, you know, I get it. I mean, if, if you've paid attention to public speaking, more people, studies have shown that more people are scared of speaking in public than they are of dying. Yeah, there's a bigger fear of speaking in public than dying. So it's, it, I mean, it's alive and well. And, you know, what's the saying there? It's, uh, yeah, it, it's alive and well. So um, this will get you very comfortable. Now, one of the deputy fire marshals that used to work with our department who now works for another department she was very gung-ho because she was preparing herself for promotional processes to be you know to take the next step to the supervisory ranks and she had heard me talk about toast toastmasters now i've never joined a toastmasters organization i mean i could probably learn a lot of things if i did but i'm also very comfortable at public speaking i'm also very comfortable about giving speeches because what you have to do in Toastmasters, when you get together, is they give you sometimes impromptu speeches of like, all right, Steve, here, you know, you got five, from what I understand, five seconds, to prepare a speech on something out of your comfort zone, a speech on, I don't know, let's say I'm a baseball fan. So let's, and I'm not really a hockey fan or a lacrosse fan, nothing against those sports, but give a speech on the benefits of lacrosse. And they're like, I have no freaking clue about lacrosse. Well, it don't matter if you have a clue or not, you better figure it out very quickly and be able to give a compelling speech in a short amount of time and not just be a talking head because oral communication is not, I mean, there's a number of components about oral communication. You don't, I mean, Yes. Hi, I'm Steve. I'm a firefighter. I'm here because I want to help people. 
okay, that's communication, but it's not really effective oral communication because I'm putting someone to sleep here. So you learn a lot of different valuable tools to make you become a better speaker, a bigger, better communicator, um, a better leader, someone that can impromptu deliver things because it's not uncommon in most promotional processes to have oral interviews or maybe teaching demonstrations. For a company officer, don't be surprised if you if you get maybe a situation during a promotional process where you have to teach your crew a new topic, a new tool just came in. Okay, the the um, your company, your station just got assigned this new tool. Show your crew how to use it. You know, you got 15 minutes to prepare, maybe 15 minutes to do it. Ask questions, get them involved, and all that other stuff. I mean, instructional ability is important for a company officer. If you're going for a chief officer position, don't be surprised if, hey, you've got to give a council presentation. You got 15 minutes to repair, 15 minutes to do it. Make sure you ask questions, answer questions, everything else. So those are the types of things that you need to be prepared for at any rank, especially the officer ranks of being able to give an impromptu speech in a short amount of time and effectively convey your message and engage the audience and have them not go to sleep. So that said, leadership and communication skills are something we can never get enough of, especially at the fire officer ranks all the way up to fire chief. They're also topics that can be taught and learned as opposed to being born. I know you hear that, oh, that person's a born leader. And eh, maybe, but chances are there is something they learned throughout the process. They may not have had any formal training or classes, but maybe because of their upbringing, their friends, their family, whoever they were exposed to, they picked a lot of things up. You know, so it's, there's a lot of ways, but don't think that you have to be born as an instructor, speaker, leader, communicator, whatever. So all ranks of personnel need to be extremely comfortable and effective in both leadership and communication. So I know it's scary as hell to talk in front of people, but you know what? Do what it takes and maybe joining a Toastmasters may help you alleviate those fears because again, when you get in that promotional examination, the oral interview is one of the exercises, it seems like for most departments, if not all, where candidates leave points on the table. They don't sell themselves well enough because, well, I'm too shy. I don't want to brag about myself. Well, it's not bragging, but you got to talk about yourself and you got to talk about yourself without bullshitting people and with being sincere and, you know, concise and everything else that goes along with those things. So that said, as always, thank you very much for the gift of your time. Until the next episode, I will see you soon. Be safe. Take care.